Hey, hey Virgo, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your May 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Virgo, I am getting here a water filter water filtration system. Maybe some of you work in a water plant or near water. This could be a water system that you have at the office or maybe you have it at home. Please take it as it resonates. I'm also getting a shift in consciousness. Okay, a shift in consciousness is leading to more self-evaluation and it's gonna actually put you towards this fresh start, a fresh beginning, because when you start to shift internally, you notice that your external world starts to shift as well. So there's a shift in consciousness. This could be collectively, but I feel for you, it's a big one, right? It's a big one here. So you also have the candle showing up. A lot of signs have been getting the candle because May is a really big month for inspiration. It is a month for ambition. You may notice that things feel a little bit at a higher speed, a higher rate. Maybe it's because things have felt a little bit Maybe slow for some of you Leos out there. It's taken you a little bit to get to this point of feeling more stable and you start off with the emperor there. Okay, there's definitely an energy of seven of swords showing up. We have the mask and we have the seven of swords showing up in your energy. So Leo, some of you were dealing with a person who may have been full of empty promises Okay, someone that was less than ethical, maybe they were not being completely upfront and, and honest. So maybe some of you took a position and the boss told you that you would be working as a specific, you know, in a specific role or have a specific title, but the description is completely off kilter. I get that for some of you Virgos out there where you were just fed some sort of promise and someone went back on their word, okay? We'll dive into that here further. But you do have the candle starting off. This is about manifesting money. For some of you, it's management, high rank, visibility. You may use your body or your mind a lot in your career. Maybe you are an athlete of some sort or it, your work requires a lot of mental thought is what I'm getting here for you. There's hustle here. And some of you, you've been doing it for quite some time, so it does come naturally or it's become a routine. But I see that there's a new project, new creative endeavor, or if you are an entrepreneur, you are feeling lit up, right? There's this energy of reigniting the flame. Something that once went out within you is getting reignited. And I like this because I feel like this has to do with your service, right? With your service, with your skills, with your talents, but this is really internal energy here. I mean, out of all the cards, we only see one major arcana and it is the emperor. So I feel like you're gaining more skills yourself. This is about you maybe even taking some classes or you've hit or peaked some sort of leadership position. Finally is what I just heard. Maybe you've been promised a promotion or you are a business owner and you've been wanting to hit a certain goal or a milestone in your business. Now, we do have the mask card coming in here. This can be about secret stash, saving pennies, finding money, theft for some of you. I do get that. Maybe the seven of swords crossing you uh, right away. Someone could have stolen your ideas or took credit for your work. Or again, I'm getting empty promises. Uh, for others of you, I mean, you could be an actor, Virgo. This does talk to, talk about acting. Uh, it can be assistance. It can be hidden potential, embracing the unknown. So for some of you, if this isn't a person in your life, this could be about you taking off some sort of role or mask that you once played to step into this unique individualized energy, which is included in your potential, right? Some of your hidden gifts, your skills, your talents, you're embracing the unknown. And I feel like you're discovering and learning more about 
who you are. You're tapping into some potential that maybe you haven't tapped into before. You also have the cutlery. This talks about business tools, Virgo. This talks about needing more money, living well. Some of you may be in the food-related industry. You may be the sole provider, or you're just looking for work, maybe more work or an increase in uh, money within your work. You have the goods, you have the tools. Some of you, if you are a business owner and people work under you, or maybe you are a person who hires and fires, maybe you're part of HR in some way, shape or form, I feel like you may be struggling or your company is struggling getting good help, okay? Because you can see that there's a knife, there's a fork and we're missing a spoon. So it almost feels like there's a, a little bit of a turnover here, turnover rate, or it feels like, you know, you have been given a task that requires a spoon, but all you have is a fork, right? So something feels misaligned and it may be causing a little bit of extra stress, but bottom of the deck, we see the nugget, the coins, and the rose. So there's a small increase. Some of you may have taken a new job because of an increase here. So you could maybe pay off some debt. You have the debt paid. You also have cryptocurrency here. You have responsibilities. Yeah, some of you may have said yes to an offer because you had some extra responsibilities and now you're wondering, was this a good investment? I feel like it was or is for the time being, but I don't, if you are unhappy or if you've learned what you've needed to learn, I still feel like there's a little bit of a, a period here of growth. I do see that for you with the three of cups showing up, but I also see that there's a new opportunity to go in a, a forward direction elsewhere. So this is about financial relief, supportive role, job security, and maybe that's where it's at at this time is that job security, but I also see a career path that supports you on all levels, holistically, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, as well as financially. This is about money coming in, wealth. Some of you are definitely getting a raise. You may be in sales or finance, okay? This could also mean some of you, there's a payout, payout for your money. You could be paying down on some sort of debt or you paid off a, a loan and that frees you up to have a little bit of that spending money or maybe you put that towards a, a long-term investment. So any extra money that comes in, I feel like you are investing wisely. This is a fresh start for you, Virgo a fresh perspective, a fresh shift in consciousness, and it's going to bring about some honest assessments. And honesty is key with the Seven of Swords. Maybe this is you getting honest with yourself. This could be getting honest with people around you. Yeah, if you're dealing with some shady people that have been trying to like slip one on under, or if they haven't been communicating well, or they were a little bit indecisive. Someone may have been holding back information is what I'm getting here. Yeah, holding back information. Something is coming to the surface here in the month of May, and I feel like it's actually gonna benefit you. Yeah, it's gonna benefit you with the coins, with the nugget. Uh, if there was anything that was wrong, if you were wrongfully accused in any way, and you're waiting for compensation, I feel like that's gonna come in with the coins. All right. Now you do have cryptocurrencies. Some of you may be uh, dabbling in the stock market or crypto. You may be learning more about it. Uh, you have some responsibilities as do we all, but try to find balance. Try to find that two of pentacles energy instead of being the workhorse here. And they're giving me horse. And I, I'm not sure if there's a horse in your, yeah, there is. The knight of materials can be the workhorse at times. Uh, sometimes it can be the slowest moving night, but I also feel like sometimes you shoulder a lot. As you can see, this guy's carrying bricks on his shoulders there. And so I feel some of you could even be in masonry. You could be in building or manufacturing. Okay, there is an energy of growing a plant as well or growing, a, not growing a plant like this type of plant, like an actual plant you know, business plants, maybe you're making something or you're part of that. All right, we have dress to impress. There could be an important meeting 
negotiation, contract, important people. That may be the emperor showing up here. This could be a legal situation. You may be dressing up for this event, but I'm getting a big yes. There's some sort of win here or there is a yes. Some money that increases or some knowledge that is you're privy to. I feel like it's a good omen. Virgo, there are some benefits here available to you. Okay, maybe you're looking into insurance. You're looking into benefits. This does talk about flexibility, working from maybe anywhere in the world, working from home, working remotely. This talks about paid vacation, skills and development, health insurance, pension plans, achievements and rewards. So there's room for growth where you are going here or where, where you are currently at. There is expansion. So let's dive into the tarot. Your first card out is the emperor. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, Aries season lasts until around April 20th. So I feel like Aries season was significant for many of us, right? But for you, Virgo, I do feel like there's an opportunity for you to step into a leadership role or connect to a leader or a boss or a CEO. I mean, this is big energy. Stability, I feel, is the name of the game for you this month. When this emperor shows up, he is all about order, structure. He's very powerful and rules many. So if this is either you, you are joining a, a tribe or a group where an emperor does rule many, right? Or this could be you helping people. I'm getting like masses, masses. So some of you are reaching people on a global level or you could be putting something out into the world that reaches people from ac across the globe. Please take that as it resonates. Now, being honest with yourself, getting, getting honest with you, or getting to the root of some challenges that you've had with people around you, I just feel if this is someone else, they weren't being honest. They were holding back some sort of knowledge or information. They weren't up front with you. I feel maybe it wasn't to hurt you, but it was for their gain and they thought that you could fill some sort of a void or fill uh, into a position where maybe you would, would like a little bit more. Uh, we're going to clarify. Spirit, can we please clarify since the Seven of Swords is showing up with the mask. What do we have for the Seven of Swords and the mask for Virgo, please? Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's almost as if someone is holding back on some sort of news or message or communication here. Uh, this can be relocation, uh, a message. Yeah, it's, it's almost as if you wanted to have a conversation with this emperor or you wanted to go in for that raise or promotion and someone said, yep, we'll get to it. We'll set that up for next week, next month. And then it just kept getting pushed away, pushed away, pushed away. Uh, Spirit, tell me more about this Seven of Swords. And maybe this is about you as well, getting honest with yourself about what action you want to take next. All right, three of cups. Uh, beautiful because this is actually part of your outcome. So there's going to be celebration energy here. The stars are aligning. You see the Big Dipper. There's a shift happening that's going to take you in a new direction. There's some sort of incoming message. Wish upon a shooting star, okay? Some of you may actually see a shooting star is what I'm getting. You may be the shooting star. Something may take off quickly. It's like once some sort of honesty, truth, or self-actualization comes into play, there's no stopping you here. It's like something's out. Cat's out of the bag. Now we can move forward. All right. In the deep foundation, we do have the four of cups. It's in reverse, four of emotions, which is good that it's in reverse because it says we're reaching out. Yes, we were frustrated. We were bored. Uh, maybe you felt like you missed out on this opportunity for advancement, for growth, for you to fulfill yourself on an emotional and spiritual level. And I feel like some of you kept it to yourself. That could be that seven of swords. You didn't say anything because you thought that it would change or you thought that, you know, this leader or this boss or even yourself, if this is you as an entrepreneur, you thought it's just a phase. I'll just go, go through it here. But it's almost as if you got stuck in that default mode. 
right? The default mode of next month, next month, next month, and then seven months happens, right? And you're thinking, what on earth? How did I get here? I was supposed to, that was supposed to happen seven months ago. But I feel like there's new opportunities here in the near future for you because you have triple twos coming in here. I thought I seen triple twos. Okay, well, we see two twos, uh, but we have the two of swords, showing up in the recent past. This is about someone ignoring a decision. It can be indecisiveness and even lying to oneself. So whether this is uh, not making a decision because you don't have enough information to make it or someone around you doesn't have the information or maybe they just don't want to. They're turning a blind eye to it because you can see that she has the blindfold on. And so I just feel like communication was a little bit hairy in the recent past, but showing up in your potential is the two of wands in the upright. And so you see that she has her telescope ready. It's <laughs> She's waiting for that shooting star in a way, but she needs to make the choice. What's the choice? That there is in fact a star out there that she can hang on to this belief and she can manifest it and take action on it. And twos are all about choice. They're about reflection. They're about partnership. And I feel like you have a choice that's coming in here to get honest with yourself, to maybe call someone out, or to bring about change by telling someone this is what I need versus waiting around for the change to happen. I really feel like this is you initiating excuse me I feel like this is you Virgo initiating some sort of change and maybe that sneeze there came at the perfect time because it's about you stopping and then boom you're off right it's finally it's out instead of holding it in I feel like there's a message for some of you Virgos out there that have been holding something in it's time for you to speak up because in the near future you're manifesting page of materials this is the page of Pentacles manifesting a new financial or physical opportunity so expect some sort of good news this is news around a raise a promotion a job offer this is uh, contracts negotiating new contracts coming in it could be a check that you've been waiting for an investment a financial win so there this can also be some new skills involved some training involved in order for you to move forward, that could be part of the decision. Maybe some of you have been going back and forth saying, I really want to go to school, but is now the time? And you've been kind of indecisive about this. In the near future, I feel like you've made up your mind here. And here's the physical manifestation of you making up your mind. All right. How are you feeling? Ten of cups. Ten of cups energy here. It is showing up in reverse, but... I don't mind to see it nonetheless because it means we can we can shift our consciousness, which was your message coming in right away here. Ten of Cups can be about unrealistic goals. It can be about betrayal. Maybe some of you, there was a family dispute or an argument around money. Uh, maybe some of you felt like you were part of a family dynamic in work, but you were cast aside and you felt very hurt or very betrayed. Okay, some of you have some family stuff going on that may be affecting your financial life in some way, shape, or form. But I also get, you may be considering taking a family vacation or a family trip because you have been carrying so many responsibilities. I'm also hearing um, like college funds or college dues, something here with maybe helping a family member out. You may have had a loan from a family member is what I'm getting here. You could be paying a family member off or they could be paying you money that was owed with this 10 of cups. I'm gonna clarify the 10 of cups here because even though it's showing up in the reverse, I feel like it's reassessing some goals. And maybe you had some goals that, you know, may have been or you thought were realistic, but I feel like you are re- evaluating what is possible but you're still aiming for the prize of what you want but you may be breaking it down into bite-sized pieces but let's clarify what's this ten of cups all about here please ten of cups yeah five of wands there's been some conflict there's been you know some possibly competitiveness 
Maybe there's been some need for collaboration that's had a difficult time collaborating. Five of Cups, right? Five of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, some of you dealt with some sort of emotional disappointment, but you're gaining more confidence about your dreams moving forward here. Yeah, and that's what I was getting for the Ten of Cups. There has been some sort of loss, but you're re configuring your your priorities here and you're getting realistic about your goals you're paying things down you are taking a, a useful stance at you know where your money's going where your time's going what is realistic what can you accomplish and i feel like you're on the right track here virgo there's the queen of wands showing up again and we've just seen her show up queen of wands twice so you are regaining a sense of confidence a sense of power exudes from your aura this is about you feeling creative she's the entrepreneur she is the one who is bold and why she'd make an excellent customer service rep or she's the glue in the office right she's the multitasker she can do many things at once and i feel like yeah it's almost like you're getting your mojo back there's a sense of here freedom to do as you wish, to maybe work your own hours, set your own hours. I hear set your own rates. Some of you could be increasing your rates if you're a business owner. Okay, I feel good about this Queen of Swords, or excuse me, Queen of Wands, because a uh, part of you at time times were a little bit insecure that something could manifest, or insecure because that Five of Wands. There was a lot of a lot of competition you weren't quite sure if you had what it took to rise to the top and i feel like you do yeah you absolutely do in the hopes and fears you have the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles is slow and steady wins the race now at the same time your hope is that it's not so darn slow that it takes you a million years to get there right but i do see with this knight of pentacles you are someone who is dependable, someone who's trustworthy. You're going to wait for the best time to take action. And I feel like you are taking action or you have. You're about to if you haven't already with the two showing up because I feel there's going to be a return for you. But if you're in a current position where you're putting in the effort, but you're feeling defeated and drained and you feel despair or you feel lost, you're going to course correct. You're going to take this divine detour and you're going to move forward in a new path. One that does feel more trustworthy. One that is more stable, more reliable. I also see here that some of you could be taking a, a I don't want to say a pay cut, but you could be shifting like a sidestep approach, maybe going into a new company, but maybe they pay the same and you're wondering, should I just stay? I feel like this new environment, this new atmosphere would be better for you, better for your growth. Yeah. Your final outcome is the Three of Cups, and we've seen the Three of Cups earlier as well. So this is about celebrating some sort of news, which we see manifesting with that Page of Pentacles. So you're going to be celebrating a win here. This is celebrating in uh, a new job. It can be celebrating an abundance, a raise. This is maybe passing a test or going back to school. I feel this celebratory energy coming in. And this is great that it comes in after a two because it means you are leveling up. You've made some choices and now you're going to celebrate a return on your investment. Even if it's in the beginning stages of hitting the next level, I feel really good about this three of cups. Spirit, can we please clarify the three of cups, the celebration coming in? celebration oh there it is something completely new taking that leap of faith this could be the universe celebrating saying you did it right your soul has wings you just had to jump because we caught you here so the universe is celebrating a win here this is a brand new beginning you taking a leap of faith this is a fresh start at embracing the unknown here and taking a chance on yourself i love this yeah all right Let's get a message from the Wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have for Virgo? Wisdom of the Oracle, please. You have the Observer. And how interesting, because this is that Two of Inspiration. The Two of Wands literally has the Observer. So some of you, for a moment, you may be taking a step back and just watching things unfold, which is ironic because you have the Emperor who is 
action oriented, right? He's that masculine energy of taking action, taking initiative. But I feel like there is almost like a pregnant pause coming in here for you. And you're going to maybe watch and wait and see how other people act or how other people respond. And that's going to give you that missing piece of information that you didn't quite have before you take a leap of faith. That's what I see here for you. Card 49. Some of you may be 49 years old. All right. And the message here for you is all about perspective. Objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. And the message is this. It is an advantageous time for you to get some distance from what you're doing and see your work and your projects from a different perspective. The trick is to connect to the essence of your goals and aspirations while letting the form and timing be dictated by spirit. And we talked about that timing as well. You may be too personally attached to the outcome. That can be that 10 of cups in reverse, right? Maybe you are attached to a specific outcome and need to just take a little bit of a, a pregnant pause or a step back, female or male, it does not matter. It says you may be too personally attached to an, uh, excuse me, to an outcome and unable to see the miracle because it's not turning out exactly as you planned. Trust spirit. The perfect version of your abundance is right in front of you. Remain neutral and curious and watch the miracle unfold. It is unfolding here. Here it is. The fool, right? The three of cups. You're celebrating a new beginning. This new beginning is the miracle that is leading to, right? The coins and the nugget. There's an increase here. There's money coming in. There's financial support, financial abundance. All right, I am going to read to you the protection message, okay, because some of you, you are struggling with that, uh, with that seven of swords still. Ever think sometimes your life options are suction cup to your face and you can't see beyond yourself? Yeah, remember, that's, that's lying to oneself at times, or it's not being able to see anything beyond because we're stuck maybe in that fight or flight as well. There's a big world out there, Virgo, a multitude of potential realities. And we said we're going to be jumping some timelines this month. There's a big world uh, that you're unable to perceive at the present. So you're a little stuck. It's time to get advice from someone you trust, someone who has a better perspective on your circumstances. Other points of views are needed now before you move forward. Take heart. A beautiful vista is waiting for you to drink it in. You just need a little help widening your scope beyond your small self. Yeah. So interestingly enough, some of you could even be into astronomy here or the stars. Maybe you're studying that. You may have a strong connection to the moon cycles. You may even have a telescope here. You may see a shooting star. Uh, you may hear of favorable news around the new moon in May, okay? I'm not quite sure what date that lands on. I'm also hearing 13 could be a significant day, May 13th. Please take that as it resonates. All right, let's get a few messages from your spirit animals. And at this time, Virgo, I just ask if you can, please take a nice deep breath in from the solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And upon your exhale, tune into your third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea your animal could be wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. It could be a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge, maybe one that you currently have at your home, maybe one that's crossed your path in the great outdoors. 
There is no right or wrong answer, Virgo. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animals in the comment section below the video, and I personally will enter you into that giveaway. So please make sure you've hit the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss that notification. All right. Did we say something about horses earlier? We did. Yep. I kept seeing horses for you with the Knight of Materials, but one of your first cards out here is the horse. And we talked about freedom, right? Freedom to maybe work from anywhere in the world, freedom to work from home, or freedom to choose what you wanna do with your time and how you wanna spend it, right? Being creative, being financially lucrative. So the horse spirit is reminding you that freedom is yours, Virgo. Some of you may be 33 years old, 37 or 66, or you could be born on the second. Next, we have antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Things are about to take a little bit of a, a, a tour, a divine detour here. And I feel like the momentum is going to pick up for you mid May to mid June is what I'm sensing here. There could be a lot of activity, a lot of hustle and bustle, but lion spirit reminds you that you are generous, that you are courageous, and you have everything you need within you to succeed and fulfill your your manifestations, your dreams. Be generous of spirit. And then lastly here, we have White Raven. This is this says trust in the magic. Trust in the magic here because we see that you're tapping into infinite possibilities. We see that you have the free will to choose. You have two choice cards here and I feel like you're choosing but you're also observing and that may be where that choice is activated. So trust in the magic of new beginnings is what I'm hearing as well with that fool card. This is quite beautiful. There is a destined contract or a destined turning point coming in. This is meant for you. It is divinely inspired. It is part of your purpose, part of your path, Virgo. And I feel like you can't go wrong. You know, you've wanted to be in this position for quite some time and here you are. Beautiful. Now, last but not least, let's get a message from the soul's truth and see what your soul wants you to know at this time that can really help you on your path moving forward. What does the soul have here, please? What is the soul's? Okay, thank you. The soul's truth. We're going to go one more. All right. Thank you, spirit. We have... Who am I ready to forgive and do I believe I'm worthy? So is there anyone that you need to forgive? It says, I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. Is it time to let go, forgive, and move onward? Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? Today's soul action. Write a forgiveness letter, then practice the Ho'oponopono prayer while thinking of the person you're ready to forgive, even if this is yourself. Some of you, this seven of swords is either someone else or a part of yourself that you weren't being completely honest with. So forgiveness is part of, you know, part of the path moving forward here for you. The Ho'oponopono prayer is, I love you, I am sorry, please forgive me and thank you. And then we have, do I believe I'm worthy? You are worthy, Virgo. You are deserving and you are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you and go out and claim the life you have dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for, so put it on your head and wear it. That's a quote by Maya Angelou. And today's soul action, for a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? And your mantra should be, I am worthy of it all. And it's interesting because you also have the Ten of Pentacles, or excuse me, the Ten of Cups. So there could be some piece of 
self-confidence, which we said with the Queen of Wands showing up twice, there's a sense of insecurity around your self-worth. You're starting to regain that momentum within you. But I feel for some of you, this does pertain to maybe childhood as well, feeling not worthy. Maybe you had to fight for someone's attention. Maybe you had a lot of siblings or you only made mom or dad happy when you were excelling in school or playing a sport. So you may be revisiting some childhood patterns, some childhood woundings around unworthiness, right? Because this can be feeling unworthy. The 10 of cups in reverse can be feeling unworthy of, you know, abundance, of happiness, of success. Some of you may have even felt ridiculed for, you know, your profession or your vocation, whatever you wanted to do. I also see some of you stepping into a role because maybe a family member stepped into it. Maybe your mom was a nurse or your dad was a teacher or a professor and then someone else in the family stepped into that role as well. But is it because you want it for you? Or is it because they wanted it for you? So you're really looking at some deep-seated values at this time. And even if you haven't thought about this for a while, or maybe you feel like you don't even need to forgive, something is coming up to the surface with that mask and that seven of swords for you to really reevaluate and take a look at. And I want you to remind yourself, Virgo, I am worthy of it all. Yes, you are. That is what I have for you, beautiful souls. If you like the message, please hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to share, like, comment your power animals below and hit that subscribe and bell button. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Lots of love.